Hello friends, welcome back. It is Lindsay. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Would you take a second to subscribe and like? I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. So today is a really weird movie. I hope it is a movie video. I hope it is a really fun one for you guys. I'm calling it a dust bunnies video because it's all these random little like you know you get the little collections of dust under the couch or in the corners or something like that and you kind of have to clean them all and get them all in one little pile so that you can move on. That's kind of what this video is. I have all these small little random things that aren't enough for a video of their own, so I've thrown them all together into one video. So the premise or the start of this video, I have to tell you about the lost box of journals. So Sherry Sawyer, we just sold several of her journals a couple days ago here on the Marketplace, which is an online consignment shop where I sell your journals. So if you're interested, let me know. Anyway, um, she had one more box of journals. Uh, there were three boxes and I could only find two. And we both had many panic attacks trying to figure out what happened to that third box of journals. All, it was right in plain sight. All that happened was I was looking for a white priority box and it was a brown box and I found it, but it's two journals. So um, I also have some fall journals and some Halloween journals from two other marketplace ladies. And so I decided to plug them in with this video. And then I had a couple random things. So I just thought, let's just throw it all in there and see what happens. So my website is nevermorecreation17.com. You can click where it says all items, and then you can see all of the categories. And you can, today's things will be in junk journal supplies and in marketplace. So you should be able to find all of these items in there and maybe search around a little bit because there's some great deals, great things going on in that shop. And I have to mention that my vintageimageclub.com website, that is a subscription website where you can get public domain images that you don't have to worry about and using in your projects, either digitally or journals like handicrafts with your hands. A lifetime membership is on sale for a limited time for only $29.99, a lifetime of images. I add new images every single week, usually a couple times a week. Go grab your lifetime membership now before that expires. Uh, make sure you get that. Or if you just want to try it for a month, it's five bucks. So please go ahead and do that. Let's get into all of this fun. All right. So um, I have these sticker packs and these are my new way of doing sticker packs. I thought it would be so much fun. These are washi stickers. There's 20 in each one. I decided to do a CD case. I ordered the CD cases off of Amazon and then there's 20 washi stickers on here. There's little labels, flowers, and sweet ladies, just a mixture. And then I've put in some kind of sequins or something like that to make it a shaker pocket. So you can just open like by cutting any um, edge and then pouring it out and you'll have sequins to use in your project as well. I've inked up the edges. I've made it really pretty so you can tuck this whole thing in a journal if you want to as kind of a gift goodie bag for somebody. So I have several of these available. Um, some of them have they're all the same type of stickers of the same collection. The sequins may be a little different, but um, 20 of each. So you might want to order some of those. I just, they're so fun. They're so fun to play with. And then I had a random book. This was, um, I found it at a thrift store and this is a child craft book and it's the make and do one. Um, I think it's from the 60s or oh, 80s, 82. But I thought it was really fun since we like handicrafts. There's like hand puppets, glove puppets, um, how to make all sorts of different things and projects. So I thought these would be really great in journals. Um, lots of bright images and they would just be so much fun in junk journals. So this book is also available for purchase. And then I have ribbon cards. These are vintage ribbon cards. I found these, a seller on eBay had these six spools of vintage ribbon that went so well together. So you are getting a total of nine yards, approximately nine yards of vintage ribbon. It's on a time card, um, so that's cool. <laughs> but you have about one yard of each of these designs and then two yards of these metallics. 
they I don't know what year they're from I couldn't find it on the spool but the spool definitely looked vintage so a yard of this we have the blue flowers with the red centers and then you have the light pink and blue and then you have the little blue and pink apples and then purple blue and teal Oh, they're so pretty. So a yard of each of these, two yards of each of these. I do have, I believe, nine cards available. So stock up for your project. These are beautiful. And I'm out of the, all of this. I kept some of the metallic for myself. Um, these I'm out of except for just little pieces that I might use in my projects. But this is pretty much a one-time thing. I don't know that you would ever be able to find that ribbon anywhere else. I don't know if anybody knows if they've ever had it or know what year it's from. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to learn a little more about it. I just knew I had to buy it and put together some ribbon cards for you guys. And then there's one random wallpaper set called Blue Beauty. I put this together about size about 11 by 15 so perfect for a journal cover and then having a little bit of scraps left over but these are all kind of blues whites creams gold type beautiful beautiful florals and stripes and things like that so there's 10 i believe there's 10 6 9 10 yep so there's 10 of those, and then we're going to get right into these marketplace journals. But first, I just have to show you my new toy. I know you guys will love this. This is my new to me. It's it's used. It's a 2015 model. This is a MacBook Air. I purchased it on Amazon for a pretty good deal. And then I bought this. Look at this case. Isn't this case beautiful? It's just a little baby laptop. And even look at my keyboard cover. It has the flowers on it. So I love it. This is so I can take my work and my digitals on the go. I have uh, Photoshop elements on this. So I can take it with me and work when I'm not just stuck at my desktop. So this is my new baby and I'm so excited. I just got it today. So I had to show you that. But we're going to get into our uh, things now. So Debbie Young She's new to the marketplace. She sent just two journals. And you, if you're following the marketplace wait list, this video will annoy you, I'm sure, because it's not in order. Um, Sherry's journals were supposed, these were supposed to be shared a couple of days ago. I'll show you Sherry's in a minute. But both Debbie and uh, Barbara, you'll see some of Barbara's in a minute, both Debbie and Barbara contacted me and said, please, 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 if you have a spot, can you list my fall themed journals? And of course, I never guarantee holiday journals. I wish I could. My life just doesn't lend itself to guaranteeing. And I never want anybody to feel like they were taken advantage of or that they were um, made to wait longer because somebody bumping up in line. To me, that's not fair. But if I have a spot in a video where it's not bumping anybody out of line, I do try. So since Sherry's journals were supposed to have been posted and I told her I would list them as soon as I found them, I had a spot, because she only has two journals, to tuck in a few. So even though Debbie just sent these like a week or two ago, I am listing them because um, you'll see them in a minute. There's a fall themed journal. This one is more of a school themed journal, but I'm not going to just wait on one journal. I'm, I'm going to show it to you. So I am um, new to her work and I'm excited to see what she has. So here's a little school bus charm. I think here, this is just a pack of some papers and things that you can use in the journal. It has three signatures. It feels really nice. Like it was made really well. Um, yeah, so this would be a great school themed, maybe a teacher's gift, a graduation gift, or just maybe college memories. It would be great for even your old memories from school. If you have old report cards from family uh, and yourself and you don't really want them randomly thrown in a box, you could use this to put in report cards and journal about school memories that you and your siblings and parents and children that you remember. Just kind of have a family type journal. Um, I was inspired by Joanne Hall. She just did a video a couple days ago on different kinds of journals and she has a family journal where she recorded a lot of family photos and family um, 
things, kind of the story of her family. So this could be a great family journal. Um, you can find Joanne's video at her channel, which is linked below, uh, Junk Journal Treasures on YouTube. And um, you can watch that video and get inspired because it definitely inspired me. So there's a really, it's just a sweet little school journal. And then this is her fall one. She told me she put a lot of time and effort into it. And I can tell, look at all the layering that she did on the front. And it says gratitude, cause of happiness or joy, expressing appreciation for something or someone. Look at the little owl and leaf charm. There's fabric ribbons, there's felt, there's corrugated cardboard, doilies. Everything is all like layered up. This beautiful vintage image. Look at the beading on the spine and it is a Reader's Digest uh, journal. And then even on the back, look at the tassel. This is exquisite, beautiful. And yeah, one of you maybe not one of you, not one of my lovely subscribers, but someone who watched the channel said that I do overdone praise. And you know what? I really can't please everybody because if I don't praise it enough, then I'm critical and harsh. And if I overpraise, then it's overdone praise. But you know what? I'm going to overpraise what should be overpraised. And this journal should. It is beautiful. I'm uh, happy to see this little ephemera. This is one of my autumn um, ephemera pieces. You can find that in the autumn shop on my uh, website. So this is beautiful. She, look at this, a bountiful harvest. Look at the cross stitch, all the details. So this is definitely a very, very special fall journal. If you have not gotten yours yet, this is my mushroom kit called Forest Gems, so you can purchase that as well. If you have not gotten your journal yet, consider getting this one or maybe even getting it and setting it aside for next year because then you'll be all ready. You won't have to worry about it. It could be a wonderful gift too. So pretty. Look at this. The little stitching in the acorn. You can tell she has a ton of creativity and style because this is beautifully, beautifully put together. I love it. A lot of my little um, autumn ephemera pieces. It's really cute to see that. Look at the hot cross buns. Oh my goodness. The pages are beautiful. The colors are beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous. You have a lot of pages to work on. You could use this, you know, starting now all the way through the end of November. And if you have pages left, you can pick right back up next year in it, finish it out. Or you may even have memories from previous years that you could start out putting in here and then continue to add the little tie here says falling leaves it is so cute so that's what we have from debbie those two and then um we have barbara and barbara leventhal she has some halloween journals okay so this is a set of two halloween journals perfect to keep one and give as a gift or do like 2019 2020 or something like that but isn't it cute? Oh, I'm going to see. I don't know if they're decorated the same or different inside, but it's always nice to get two of something because you can gift one to your crafty friend. This is a very small little book. There's not many pages, only 30 pages. So it is perfect. You can put your memories from a year into it and not have tons of pages that you're trying to fill up. It's just enough for one year's worth of memories. If you don't like journal pages every day. And I think this is very, very similar and sweet. So you get both of them if you order the set of Halloween journals. I like the little skeleton on the front. I think he's cute in a creepy sort of way, I guess. <laughs> so those are Halloween ones. And then she has a set of Thanksgiving ones, slightly different, but very similar. Aren't they beautiful? 
So again, what would be great is if you bought both of these and both of those, and then you could gift two and keep two. She's used my forest gems. Let's see. We have two six by nine, 30 pages. So she's used my mushroom forest gems. You have a little bit of space here on the bottom too, which is perfect. If you, if you love working with laces and papers and snippets, you can have them hanging off the bottom and they won't get too crushed. So um, it is very sweet, very fall-like. Love the little leaf uh, clip. So just the perfect amount of pages for, you know, maybe the month of October or something like so. The other one is, I'm sure, almost the same inside. No, maybe not. We're going to peek. We are going to peek. Oh, a little different. So pretty. So you'll actually get a little bit of a difference. So that could be really cool for two different years or something like that. But they are going to be sold as a set of two. Got some gorgeous pages here. Lots of room for writing. This is like a parchment paper. So the patina or the coloring, I guess I should say, on it is very, very nice. Very sweet. So we have that set of two as well. And then we have, um, I'm trying to see here. Are these two fall journals? All right. This is by itself. This is my work basket moths kit. So if you like it, you can purchase it over on my shop as well. Work basket moths. It's one of my digital kits or you can buy it printed. I love what she did with the cover. Gorgeous. These are the pages to the kit. I like some of the ephemera pieces. I love that she's used some of my uh, digitals. Some of the ephemera, the pages, pretty much the work basket moths. There's a whole bunch of moths and then kind of like handiwork, needlepoint, embroidery, these beautiful embroidered flower clip arts from Avalon Rose, the avalonrose.com. Definitely check her out if you are a designer. So beautiful, beautiful work. I love this journal. The colors, I've got to say this burgundy red is probably my favorite color right now. Red's been my favorite color for a long time, but it shifted from the fire engine red to more of the burgundy red, the older I've gotten. So here's a set of two fall themed journals. Look at how cute. I should like to rise and go where the golden apples grow. So, wow, there's little little tucks in there, little metal book corners. Look at how sweet a pocket. Oh, it's not a pocket. It's a page and that got stuck on the glue. There we go. So sweet. I think it's graphic 45, she said. Could be wrong. But yeah. So many. If you still need a fall journal, we've just got you covered today different price points. So you should be able to find something within your price range. Or of course you can just buy one of the digitals in the autumn shop on my site. And that way you can make your own for super cheap. What a cute set. Just like that bright fall look, you know, the kind of, I don't know, bright and cheery apple September type look. November there. I love the paper she's used, this parchment paper. Instead of coffee dye, I mean, coffee dye paper is great, don't get me wrong, but this parchment paper is exquisite. I'm wanting to start using it. I bought some. I just haven't, haven't used it yet. I'm still in that hoarding phase and I'm really trying to get out of hoarding. I'm trying to use what I have and pass it on to you guys and not hoard it. 
So you have, there's that collection, there's that set. And then this one is a standalone. It's just like a little traveler's notebook. Um, this I think is graphic 45, but look at how cute. It's like a Sherlock Holmes, it's a little Halloween. It's like a Sherlock Holmes Halloween. Master Detective is the paper pack. If you are familiar with graphic 45, so it is just the sweetest. This would be the type of Halloween journal I would use if I was getting a new journal for October. However, I'm not. I'm trying to finish up my old one. But this is just a fun little, I love the tags on the back, fun little journal. And if you have a traveler's notebook cover, that makes it absolutely perfect already. But you do not need a traveler's notebook cover to use it. So now we are going to get to the reason we did this entire video, and that's Sherry's journals, her lost missing journals. So she usually has a pouch. So here's the pouch. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that sweet? There's a little pocket here with oh, some ephemera. It is a really nice to have a pouch for these journals because everything can be kept together great for traveling and for keeping them safe. So you get an altered composition notebook and you get a little file folder booklet journal. Isn't that sweet? All these like bird, vintage birds, linens. So you really get a, wow, I mean, that is just beautiful. You get a lot with this set. It's gonna take me a while to list all this stuff this afternoon. <laughs> we are piling it up. There is a little hummingbird charm. Look at this gorgeous lace. The cover is the same as the fabric on the pouch. And in back here, oh wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, so there's a pouch back here that those slip into. Let's see if we can open up and get inside. We're trying anyway. I hope I'm at the front of the book here. It's called All A Twitter. So she's used an Audubon book and other stuff from her collection, three signatures. So definitely bird themed. I love bird books as well, especially the vintage birds. That's really where my weakness, so love this kit and what she's done or this journal and what she's done lots of sweet touches if you love birds you will love this journal so much to look at so eye pleasing love her little linen pockets and her little flips. Look at how pretty. Oh. It's gorgeousness. Look at that. I love how she mixes the vintage and modern like I like to do. So pretty. She said she's always putting birds in her journal, so she thought she would do a bird journal. This is a treasure. Oh my word. Oh, it is so pretty. I hope that whoever gets this loves it because it's a treasure and there's probably gonna be a scramble for it. So enjoy. There's one more, and then we will end the video for today. Kind of have to make sure I put everything back because I will lose and forget stuff. So if you've watched my videos for a while, you know I take the extra second to retie stuff and put it back the way it was. Because if I don't, I will really mess up. I have a lot of things to keep straight. So another beautiful pouch. Look at that linen. Ugh. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like an upholstery fabric. I think she said this is the biggest journal she's done so far. 
Oh my goodness. She sent me a picture, but <clears throat> it's so much more pretty in real life. Look at that. This is huge. Look at that bear. It's called Charming Woodlands. Of course, you get your little altar notebook. Look at those bears. Creating this journal was truly a labor of love. I've been hoarding books of artwork from wildlife artists. Contains many pages from their books. Tart, tough for me to part with. So fulfilling. Digitals by Artie Mage. TLC Creates Vintage. Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Antique Papery. Fabric Tux Fox Lace Ephemera. 220 pages. Nine and a half by six. I love this journal. Hope it will be treasured by its new owner. Oh, I can already tell you it will be. I know. Look at what she's done just beautiful when you've hoarded and collected beautiful wildlife pictures and you decide to put them all in one journal it becomes like a creation and extension of yourself like your book child and yes it is really hard to give it up but you know someone is going to love it and it's going to find its purpose in someone's library this is so beautiful look at that so yeah this is incredible i can't wait to see who scarfs this up look at that oh so pretty these pages are just so lovely Oh, look at those. <laughs> My ephemera pack, Beauty of the Earth, would go really well with this. And I don't think I see, I mean, there may be some and I've, I've missed them, but I don't see any of those in here. So you may want to purchase that when you get this journal, either printed or digitally. You can search for it on my website, Beauty of the Earth, 45 vintage, public domain, kind of like wildlife and plant images. And it would go perfect with this. If you purchase it printed, I printed on ivory cardstock. So all you have to do is cut it out and then you can use it throughout this entire book. Or you can get it digitally. Print it out yourself. Save yourself a little bit of money. If you have a cheap, good printer, that is. This is phenomenal. It is already a piece of art. And I know whoever gets it can add a couple little bits of goodies. I wish I could see it when it was complete because it is so pretty. Look at that. So much love put into this. Look at that. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I'm so glad I found this box. It would have been heartbreaking for both of us if I hadn't. It was right there where it was supposed to be, exactly where it was supposed to be. I didn't lose it. I just overlooked it. I try to keep a really um, good system and a, a careful, safe system going on for everybody's journals. But there's days you're just going to overlook look stuff right in front of your nose. I hope you enjoyed this dust bunny hodgepodge of a video. If you did, please like it. Consider subscribing. I'll see all of you in the next video, which will be in the next day or so. And I hope you all have an incredible crafty day. I hope you enjoy purchasing these items and the other ones in my shop. Nevermorecreation17.com. Have a lovely day.